On a crystal clear morning, a gray pickup truck pulled up to a town hall meeting in Corelsville, Iowa. How's it feel to be number three? Huh, just working our way up the ladder. <laughs> Indeed, he is. Former Pennsylvania Senator, 53-year-old Rick Santorum, a man on the rise, now in the number three position in the Republican presidential race in Iowa, behind Mitt Romney and Ron Paul. You might even get close to 60. In cowboy boots, holding a coffee for nearly an hour, he told voters that a sharp contrast is needed in Washington and that voters should ignore the recent polls. Now, there's a lot of contrast, and you know we're the, uh, I've said from the very beginning, and we're the, we're the cons consistent conservative who's got the track record on the major issues. So why the recent surge for Senator Santorum? He's operating on a shoestring budget with a minimal staff. He's not driving around in a rock star bus. So could it be the gray pickup truck and the thousands of miles he and his staff have logged over the past year in Iowa? Were we 358 or 59 town hall meetings in the state of Iowa? We did all 99 counties, and we weren't speed dating. We were, we were getting through that. We were coming to the counties, and we were doing this. Uh, sorry, you're allowed to be, you're allowed to be a political gathering. Okay. So, so perhaps his determination and personal style of meet and greet has finally paid off. And with under a week left, Iowa voters are in major flux about who they will choose. Just maybe Santorum's timing is spot on. So a lot of people are going to go into caucuses willing to be persuaded. So uh, there's, there's a good chance uh, of an upset. And the, the candidate that we're with right now, Rick Santorum, clearly has gotten a little uh, momentum going for him. Oh, really? On Thursday, Santorum's crowds were bigger. A genuine energy was out there. And all of a sudden, the cameras were pulling focus on the candidate and his message. In a very stark contrast with Governor Romney and, and me on the issue of health care and, um, and on the issue of uh, cap and trade and global warming and on moral cultural issues and Ron Paul and national security. At an event in Muscatine, voters came out to listen closely. And of all people, this Democrat, Roberta Gabbard, sat in the back of the room. She wanted to see Santorum with her own eyes. I haven't seen any of the candidates yet, and I thought I'd better get here quick. Well, I just think his honesty. Everybody can see that he's a man of conviction. He means everything that he says. Who am I in Washington, D.C. to tell the people of Alaska where to build their bridges? Even if Rick Santorum doesn't win Iowa, he will likely move on to New Hampshire the week after. And if he doesn't win there, then some say he may be strategically positioned as a vice presidential running mate. In the meantime, six candidates continue the ultimate rural road trip, the Iowa caucuses. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Iowa.